Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel. It's girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for subscribe to, subscribing to our channel and thank you for 19,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you for uh, sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you for giving us feedback, um, educating us on certain things that um, we may not, may not know and all the things that you do for us i hope you guys are doing all right um please continue suggesting stuff for us to react to and we'll be more than glad to react to it so today i'm actually going to be reacting to ex-muslim makes the kina x tom of central stage uh so without wasting time let's get into the video it's mic number two this question oh. number two Okay, uh, Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Zakir Naik. Uh, my name is Adnan Jahangir. I am a medical student and uh, I'm an atheist, but this lecture has convinced me otherwise that uh, Assalamu alaikum is one of the best greetings. My, my question is how. You're an atheist yes. or a Muslim? No, I'm a Muslim. Uh, I'm an atheist, ex Muslim. You you were a Muslim, now you're an atheist. Okay, brother, go ahead. All right. My question is of two parts. First one, what is the stance of Islam on evolution? And two, what is the stance of Islam on apostates? The first one, it's how, do you, how does Islam deal with evolution when, I'm, as I'm a medical student, my professors, when they show me the skulls of how humans have evolved throughout millions of years from homo habilis to homo erectus to us homo sapiens and when they show proof of how evolution has taken place over the years how do you disprove that when there when it is fact it is not theory or a hypo it is not a hypothesis anymore it is fact how do you disprove that if you could answer with the jangir has asked a question that what is the Islamic view on theory of evolution? And brother, if I reply to you, then will you come back to the fold of Islam? If it's a convincing enough answer. If I give a convincing reply, will you come back to the fold of Islam? Inshallah. Inshallah. Good. The Jangir has asked a question. He said you are the Muslim and now he's an atheist. And he asked, what is the view of the theory of evolution? It's not possible at all. There are many books written against Darwin theory. Now, just because today, because there is no substantial fact. That's the reason in school yet you teach about Darwin theory. But if you read the latest researches, most of the scholars, most of the scholars today do not believe in Darwin theory as a whole to be correct. No scientist today yet believes. Very few, there may be few. But the majority, they disagree that we have been created from apes. And that's what the Quran says, that we believe in the theory of creation, not in the theory of evolution. The theory of creation not the theory of evolution, or rather, I should say the fact of creation. Hope that answers the question, brother. No. Hope that answers the question, brother. No. So where, where was the question? What, what did you not understand? What you say, it is true. It was true. 150 years ago, it was true. It's not Darwin's theory anymore. 150 years of research has said that it's not once. He was just the one who started the ideology of evolution. It has gone over loads, 150 years worth of research with the latest scientific advancements that it's not what you're saying. When my professor shows me proof, it's not just from apes, which is completely certain. When you see proof how the common cold evolves, evolves um, pathogen, like when it changes its, its own morphology just to um, keep up to date with today's vaccines, it's evolving its defense mechanisms against um, today's latest vaccine. Brother, That's let me evolution tell you one right thing. there. Let me tell you one thing. It's not Darwin's theory let anymore. Let me tell you one thing, brother. I am a medical doctor. And there are many researches being done. 
if it turns out to be a fact, it has to come in the medical college. It is even, in the medical college. It, I'm thought it this is in you, university. Sorry? I'm thought evolution in university. It's not, not in school anymore. I'm talking about medical. University, you learn about theories and researches. Even in medical, you learn about theories and researches. Once it becomes the fact, it comes into textbooks of medicine. I don't know of any textbook of medicine in any college in the world which says that we have been, we have been evolved. It is all these are theories and I know the research is being done. Even Darwin's theory never came in the medical textbook. And even what you're talking about, I know there are new and new researches being coming on. But none of them yet has proved it to be a fact of evolution. The, the statement by itself, theory of evolution, means it's a theory. So by English language itself, you don't have to be a researcher. When you say theory, it's a theory. When the theory becomes a fact, it changes. That thing changes into a fact. So by, by the basic you saying theory of evolution, it means it's an hypothesis. No. It is not yet a thought. There's it's a not difference. yet a fact. There's a difference between hypothesis and theory. A theory is something in science that has the highest honor. When something gains the word theory, it's fact. The theory, in, in theoretical terms, it's the theory of gravity. But we don't say it. We just say it fact. It's oh, same which, way, sorry, we say the fact of gravity. Sorry, of what did you say? Theory of what? Gravity. If you say it in theoretical terms. but it's No the theory of gravity. It's a law of gravity. I'm sorry. Law. I'm sorry. It's the law your, of evolution. I'm sorry. Your knowledge of science is very weak. It is Boyle's law. It is not Boyle's theory. It is Archimedes' principles. It's not Archimedes' theory. Whatever is theory, when it becomes a fact, it changes into law. I am sorry your knowledge is so weak and I wouldn't like to continue. Your knowledge you is so weak. My question, I am sir. not here to teach 2 plus is equal to 4 in the audience. In the question answer session, you ask a question, I give the answer. If you like it, you keep it. If you don't like it, you throw it. Okay, just the thing is that if your knowledge sir. is so weak, you're saying theory is the highest thing in science. I'm sorry, you're absurd. I'm a medical doctor. Theory is the highest thing in science. If I'm very can sorry, brother. If someone I'm can Jangir, disprove... brother, I'm very sorry. Theory is never the highest thing in science. If you think just because they're going to university, they're coming to fool the people here. I'm not. I'm totally sorry. Theory, if it becomes a fact, and if the theory becomes a law, it may reach a high standard. But theory by itself, it's a theory, it's a hypothesis. Once it gets converted, it becomes a law, it becomes a fact. Newton's law, it becomes a fact, it becomes a law. I'm sorry to say that by itself, it's calling it a theory means it is not yet an established fact. The heart pumps blood. Is it a theory or is it a fact? It's a fact. No, the proof. theory of heart pumping blood. Eh, theory of heart pumping blood now. Now, if I'm, if I'm going to teach you English language here, I feel you are wasting the time of the people. Surely, if you can't understand simple English, that what is the difference between the theory, that theory is the highest thing in science, then I'm sorry you'll have to go back and learn science. What about the evidence, sir? We would like to, uh, because, uh, you know, the, as we have already learned, the uh, question in and of itself is uh, not uh, qualified to be... Uh, it's a theory. <laughs> so, we would <laughs> so we would like to give the opportunity to a more uh, qualified question, inshallah. And we will uh, ask from the ladies section, inshallah, if there is any lady who has a uh, theoretical no, no, no. question. <laughs> uh, from the non-Muslims, of course, we'll give preference to. And that's what the Quran says, that we believe in the theory of creation, not in the theory of evolution. The theory of creation, not the theory of evolution. Very interesting. I always try to find the positive uh, side of every video that I react to. Because I'm just thinking, I mean, for someone to um, live a certain religion and then focus that beliefs maybe on science whatever religion he's following but now he's following what his lecturers are telling him in university i mean if you want to learn i feel like this guy actually wanted to learn he didn't want to uh, show that he's <clears throat> more knowledgeable than dr zaki naik but then in school when we're taught something sometimes we take that and say okay this is the right way scientists believe in certain things religious people believe in certain things so who's the right person to believe that's what i'm saying i appreciate this guy for still coming back to islam 
Islamic conference or whatever this was gathering and asking questions I'm sure he just wanted to understand things um, better I would really really love to believe that he just wanted to understand things better and talk to someone who actually maybe would understand where he's coming from the fact that lecturers are saying this and they're saying okay this is a fact there's religious teachings that are saying no that's not a fact this is the way i mean i wish i really 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 wish um he was given more time but in such a setting i understand when they say time is um is very very precious because other people have questions too uh yeah let me know what you guys actually think leave your comments down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget uh to subscribe if there's something you guys want me to react drop the link in the comment section below and i'll be more than glad to react to it